Good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Luang Prabang, Lao, which is an ancient capital city. And it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site City. It's a historical, it's a colonial, it's a, it's a gorgeous city. Uh, located right along the Mekong and the Namkhan rivers. And so you've got so much natural beauty. There's a lot of history here. You can explore temples. I'm gonna give you a walking tour of Luang Prabang right now. Just a short tour. Uh, show you kind of the things that we've been doing. Show you the hotel that we're staying at. And because it's the morning, we're on our way to the market now. And then we're gonna, yeah, we have to have a coffee because this is the, the ultra coffee drinking paradise. Uh, but I'm just gonna take you on a little walking tour. Before we go anywhere, I'm gonna show you our room. We're staying at Pun Sab Guest House. And it's, uh, it's, the, the location is perfect. It's right along the main road in the historic center on the peninsula of Luang Prabang. And I'll show you our room. I'll show you this courtyard area, community area, um, communal area of the hotel. And then after that, we're gonna go to the market. So let's go up to the room now. And we're staying on the second floor. So we gotta go up the steps. And our room is all the way at the end of the hallway. Come on inside. Immediately, what I love most about this room are the hardwood floors. Uh, that's what really sets the tone. And we've got a triple room. Me, Ying, and Micah are in this room. We have a double bed, we have a single bed. All of the, and again, all of the accessories, all the tables and everything is made from hardwood. Desk is over here where I have my charging station electronics going on and all the wires. There's a mini fridge. Uh, we have some juices and we had some water, but no more water left. Oh, the double bed, I actually, okay, let me just do a comparison. Oh yeah, the single bed is much softer than the double bed, but they're both pretty comfortable. Yeah, I haven't had a problem at all. I've been sleeping very well. I like how the bathroom is nice and spacious. Sink is over here on its own kind of table structure. Toilet is in the corner there, and then you've got a shower, but it's uh, also what I like is the shower is a non-shower curtain shower, so it just has a wall barricading and this little ledge here which keeps the water in. While I happen to be in the bathroom, I think I may as well just jump in the shower to get the day started. That's fantastic. I feel wonderfully refreshed after that shower. Uh, I'm gonna walk around and show you the courtyard area of the hotel that we're staying in. Uh, Ying and Micah are getting ready, and then after that, we're gonna go to the market. And there's no balconies in our rooms, uh, but they do have these nice chairs that you can hang out on, on the, the veranda. And we're on the second floor, so let's go down the steps. Okay. Welcome to the downstairs area of the hotel of the guest house and this is a nice courtyard area and that's our room all the way on the very end on the second floor and then over on this side there's a kitchen table there where you can sit and eat. My buddy Joel is there right now enjoying breakfast, chilling out to the max and then over here you can make coffee and then the water kettle over there where you can always get hot water. In Lao, in Luang Prabang, you don't want to drink the water from the faucet, from the tap. But in Luang Prabang, and especially at the hotels and the guest houses, they do a really good job of supplying you with water. And even if you walk around town, sometimes there are free or very cheap refilling, bottle refilling stations. And it's always good to start your day off with a banana. Okay, let's go. Somebody. Stepping out of the guest house, this is the front entrance, which is right along one of the main roads in the historical peninsula of Luang Prabang. And if you go down this way, we'll get to one of the main temples and the palace, and then on to the morning market. So we're gonna head this direction. We're walking past the royal palace, which is through these gates. And then we'll be coming to Wat Mai very soon as well, which is one of the famous temples in Luang Prabang. And Luang Prabang is full of beautiful temples. Uh, one of the reasons that Luang Prabang is a UNESCO World Heritage City is its mix of preserved, well-preserved culture and history and architecture. 
สบายดีสบายดีโอเค welcome to the entrance of the morning market and the the market kind of surrounds Wat Mai it goes down the alley and then it it goes on one of the side streets one of the quieter side streets but this is this is one of my favorite parts of being in Luang Prabang you will find just about everything at this market um, I mean every every kind of food you can imagine from Lao. Uh, you can buy. There's lots of jungle herbs. You can buy all sorts of fish from the Mekong freshwater fish. Mm. That's great. It's like a really fluffy, airy, crunchy rice cracker. It's a little bit of a sweetness to it, almost like a caramely sweetness. Lao is known for its relaxed culture. Relaxed people have a relaxed attitude, and it really it really shows because people people don't seem to be in a hurry. Uh, people take their time, especially to enjoy each other, to have a conversation. Uh, and I mean, you can walk around the market. You can start talking to some of the some of the people selling ingredients, and they'll just open up to you. They're, they're so friendly. This is a great market. This is a market you have to visit when you're in Luang Prabang. And we come almost every morning just to to walk around, just to stroll and eat a few little snacks. Right across the street from the market and from the temple is a street food stall in the morning that serves rice kanji, uh, Luang Prabang style. Chai tom kap. Chai kap. Kap chai. They have some benches and some tables along the fence. This was completely unplanned. Ying just saw the, the kanji stall and she wanted a bowl, so we're gonna stop for a quick breakfast. I'm not sure if there's a little bit of meat in here. There's some blood jelly. Uh, she adds on some cilantro, some crispy shallots or garlic, and then a little bit of pepper, and then we got it with the, the egg. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's delicious. That's soothing. I got that that fried garlic in there. The yolk is perfect, perfectly yolky, creamy, um, and then the texture of that rice has sort of like dissolved into a a gra thick gravy, but you can still feel the grains of rice. I'm gonna add some of the chili oil just to this side at first. Oh yes, oh yes. Mix that around. And you said good with lime too? Okay, Ying says it's good with lime. Mm. Oh, is that chili oil? Mm. Oh, that's spicy and so fragrant. Yeah, with that chili oil and that lime, that makes it perfect. Hey, guy. Good job. Okay, my guy, let's go. That was a very good bowl of kanji. We all loved it. Micah and Ying especially loved it. And it cost 10,000 per bowl, but that's right, yeah, right across the street from the market. Ah, uh, they're really nice. Yeah, that, that goes down so easy in the morning. From here, we're gonna walk back to our hotel and then we're gonna go drink coffee at what is, it, it's, it's the best coffee shop in Luang Prabang. <laughs> we had a quick stop at the hotel just to pick something up and now we're on our way to go drink coffee. The historical center of Luang Prabang is on a peninsula. So you have the Mekong running to the side, and then you have the Nam Khan running to the other side. Uh, but there are three main streets that run down the peninsula. The one street that we're staying on, and then this is the middle street. And I love this middle street because it's so quiet. There's just not much room for cars to pass through. And there's occasional motorbikes, but it, it remains really nice and quiet. A great street for walking. And then parallel to this street on that side 
is the Mekong River. I mean, of course, there are some cars and there are some minivans and tuk-tuks, but overall, the street is so calm and great for walking. Here we are on the Mekong Riverside. This is, for me, this is the joy of being in Luang Prabang. I mean, the whole, everything is a joy, but the Mekong Riverside, it's gorgeous. It, it sets the relaxation mood, and it's a view that just never gets old. We have arrived to Saffron Coffee Shop. This is where you can find what I think is the best coffee in Luang Prabang. Savaidi, Savaidi. Oh, nice. Oh, we already got the, we're drinking the usual. Three coffees, Americano. Main coffee shop is here, but then across the street, they also have a seating area overlooking the river. You get a number, you pay for your coffee, you get a number, and we got some seats across. Oh, well, for at least for a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's just the incredible view. You see boats passing by, you see the mountains in the distance. If you come to this coffee shop, we've come in the afternoon a couple times, it's just packed. But in the morning, it's nice and quiet and you can find a seat. Usually this section is just, it, it's hard to get a seat here. Whoa, okay. We've been coming to Saffron Coffee Shop every single day that we've been in Luang Pabang. Maybe twice a day sometimes. Oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's an award-winning award cup of coffee. This is the type of coffee that I wanna slow sip the entire day. And Luang Pabang will do that to you. It just, as soon as you arrive here, the relaxation just kicks in. You start to move at a slower pace of life. <sighs> this is the, the pinnacle of relaxation. It's so great. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this Luang Pabang walking tour right now. Uh, one more thing I want to tell you is about our, our hotel that we're staying at. It's right on the main road. It's a, a fantastic location. Just five minutes walk for, or even less to the morning market. The night market, it's right on the street of the night market as well. Um, yet at the same time, you can walk to the Mekong Riverside in three minutes. You can walk to the other river in three minutes. Um, it's a superb location right in the historic center. And I think, I mean, you have such a huge choice of boutique hotels, uh, backpacker hostels, very high-end hotels. So do some research, find a place that is suitable for you, but there are so many options. For Pun Sab Guest House that we stayed in, I paid, it was, it came to about $51 per night uh, for the room. It's a kind of a mid-range guest house, but really comfortable, very clean. The service was great. I, I thought it was a, a great place. And, and then again, the location is superb. Thank you very much for watching this Luang Pabang walking tour. I hope it just gives you a, a little glimpse into Luang Pabang. You have so much to discover here, but actually the main reason to come here is just to walk around, explore, see what happens, and just, just enjoy life here. It, it's, it's beautiful and the relaxation will overwhelm you. So I'll leave some uh, information in the description box that you can check out below and make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more travel videos like this as well as tours and airplane reviews. Goodbye from the beautiful Mekong River in Luang Pabang. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you on the next video.